everybody welcome back to our gum lesson today we're going to try to make this you might be wondering what this is but if you pull these two out and these two out and do all of these bendy edge bendy edges push them out it's actually a little basket and a box and it could be a detective hat so let's get started for this basket slash hat you need one piece of paper and to begin with you need a square base and if you don't know how to do that you basically do an angle piece corner to corner and then you have to do it to the same this this as well making it straight and then now you need to open it up turn it around and do a side to side one. Just like that. And then you have to do it on the same side but on the different direction. Like this. Like that. And then now I'm going to do this. Obviously, this is a pyramid base, the opposite of the square base, but if you do this. It will be a square base. And now, sometimes I get this wrong. This is the openable side. You need to do one of these. This has to be pointing to the openable side. This has to be pointing to the openable side, not to the closed side. I sometimes do it pointing to the closed side, and that's how I sometimes get gets it wrong. So don't do that mistake at home when you're making this basket slash hat. Now you have to do it to the other side. And just like that. And now you need to now you need to do one of these onto this little this little thing. Like that. And like that. To do it to the other one the other two as well. And as you can see, when we do this, it looks pretty similar to the bar to the basket slash hat. Let me do the last one. And now, look, now look. This is the basket slash hat. And when I make it flatten like this, it looks pretty similar. But we're not done yet. We need to open it up just like this. And now to do it again but without these folded now you need to open one of these up see this you need to turn it inside and now you'll end up with something like this and you need to do them to the all of them and you might be thinking this doesn't look right um and uh, is, is he teaching it wrong no it will look right very soon when we do one more step now you've done all of them now go on one side do this making them flat making them flat makes them looks look right i need to do to these ones as well obviously not in mid air like what i'm doing now i need to do two, last two the last two now just need to uh, do this and now you're done it's this basket it looks exactly like this now if we do this this as far as you can because these two will stop it from going that far down now we need to turn it around and then do it to the other side and just like that and remember how i did it at the beginning you need to see when you do this it, it doesn't look like it and then when you pour it out it'll just break so don't pour it out that hard well all you need to do is see these one these sides to push them out everywhere and it's easier to use a pencil if you if you have one near you and when you're done like this you can basically see it's like a basket now let's do it to our little basket just like that a little basket is way easier than a big basket, so you can put your hand more through, more through it easily. Just like that, these neat edges. We're done. Another origami. And now let's see if we can put them together. 
Is this the same size then? Oh, look at that! It's a big basket! It's a small basket in a big basket! And now, let me show you. You can put big things in this, like candies or chocolate into it. Well, it can't fit that many in, but you can still fit five at least. Or some, if you're playing Lego, put Lego pieces into this. Like that. Little Lego pieces. And so, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, hit that subscribe button and that like button. I'll see you in the next origami lesson.